Hi friends, you remember we were doing some problems on estimation and costing sent by a student from Mysore. Uh, he had sent totally seven problems out of which I have solved six problems and posted the same on the uh, channel. Now I am doing the last problem that is the seventh problem which he has sent. This is in foundry shop, estimation in foundry shop. Find the cost of 2000 CI police, CI means cast iron police, shown in figure. Its surfaces are to be machined after casting. The pattern is supplied by the customer. Following data can be used. Cost of metal rupees 5 kg, mounts prepared per day, uh, per, uh, prepared by each worker per day is 20. Melting charges are 20% of metal cost. Molding, uh, machining on each side is 2 mm. Wages of each molder is 16 rupees per day. Density of cast iron is 7.2 gram per cc and overheads are 25% of the metal cost. So this is the problem. There is a sketch. This is a foundry problem. Now the sketch is like this. It is a stepped cone pulley, stepped cone pulley, like this, having three steps, having three steps, it's a stepped cone pulley, there is a hole at the center. Now, this is the width of this is 4 cm, all, all the dimensions are in cm, uh, this is also 4 cm, this is 3.8 cm, 3.8 cm. Uh, this is 11.6 dia. 11.6 cm dia uh, this one is 8.6 dia dia 8.6 cm this is Five point six, they are five point six, and this whole dia is whole dia is the central hole is there. The dia is three point four centimeter there. So these are the dimensions. All dimensions are in centimeters. Now this figure which is given is the dimension of the the dimensions are of the finished product these are the dimensions of finished product now see here uh, the casting which we are going to do we must provide machining allowance the machining allowance is 2 mm says. 2 mm machining alloys. That means the casting which we are going to prepare, that should be this first step should be this first step should be 11.6 plus 2 mm this side, 2 mm that side. That means 4 mm. That is 11.6 plus 4 mm means 11.6 plus 0.4 centimeter. So this dia, dia of the casting, this is the given figure. This is the finished product. Now the actual casting will be like this. This is diameter 12. Now when we uh, machine it, 2 mm this side will go, 2 mm that side will go and we will get how much? 
three point uh, sorry eleven point six centimeter. Then the second step also we have to provide the machining allowance. It is eight point six. That means this should be nine centimeters. 2 mm this side, 2 mm that side. So this dia will be 9. Then this will be this will be 5.6. That means it will be 6 centimeter dia. 6 centimeter dia. This is 9 centimeter dia. And the hole, the hole we must make of here. The hole required is 3.4. Now we must subtract 4 mm, that is 0.4 cm. So this should be this should be 3 cm there. 3 cm there. The hole should be of 3 cm. Now this should be this should be 4.4 4.4 cm. This should be 4 cm. And this also will be 4 cm. Why? See, here I will do facing, facing, I will remove 2 mm. When I remove 2 mm, this becomes 4.2. This becomes 4.2. Now I will do facing this side also. This side also, I will remove 2 mm. When I remove 2 mm, this becomes 4 cm. I have removed 2, 2 mm this side, 2 mm that side. So it becomes minus 0.4, it becomes 4 centimeters. Here, I have not left any allowance because I will tell you. Now, this is, I have left it as 4 centimeter. Now, when it is turned down by 2 mm here, this length will increase to 4.2. 4.2. Then, I am going to remove 2 mm here. 2 mm, if I remove here, it again becomes 4 centimeters. Here, uh, I am going to turn this here. When I turn this 2 mm here, it is going to become 3.8. This 4, it becomes 3.8 when I turn it to by uh, face that side. So, this is the problem. Now, you can call this as A, B, C, and this whole as D. Now, first, what we have to do is we have to find the material cost, the cost of the metal, that is cast iron. The ca material is by cast iron. So, I have to find out the volume of this. Now, Va, that is volume of the first step, first step here, the volume of this will be pi d square or da square, you will say, by 4 into PA or thickness, this thickness, area of the circle into, because this is circular, area of the circle into thickness. So that will be pi into DA, DA is 12, 12 square divided by 4 into 4.4. So many cubic centimeter it will be. Then Vb, same formula, Vb, pi db square, dia of step B by 4 into thickness of B. So that is pi into a 9 square divided by 4 into the thickness is 4 centimeters. Vc, again the same formula, pi dc square by 4 into tc, that is pi into, that is 6 diameter, so 6 square by 4 into, that is also 4 centimeter. Then Vd, Vd, that is pi d d square by 4 into t d or l d whatever you want you can call it. length depth whatever it is pi into 
Daya is 3 by 4 into length is 12.4 4.4 plus 4 plus 4 so it will be 12.4 this is this whole length you have to take for the whole now this will be negative this will be positive this will be negative because we will be removing the material there no material is there so this is what we have to calculate so I will calculate now see how it is calculated now pi into 12 square 12 square pi into 12 square that is 144 into 4.4 will give me 1990.5 cc second one pi into 9 square that is 81 uh, this can be cancelled here equals 254 point 5 254.5 cc this pi into 244 I have not done this divided by 4 there so it is actually it is coming as uh, 497.6 497.6 cc now this will be pi into 36 that is 113.1 113.1 .1. 1 cc now this will be uh, pi by pi into nine divided by four equals eighty seven point six eighty seven point six cc. Now total volume total volume will be. 80 it is 497.6 plus 254.5 plus 113.1 minus 87.6 so this gives me 497.6 plus 254.5 plus 113.1 minus 87.6 equals 777.6 777.6 cc cubic centimeters Next, weight, weight of one pulley. Now, this metal, what is the weight of the metal, uh, the casting, that casting, what, how much weight we have used per casting. That will be volume into density in grams per cc divided by 1000. You will get this in kg. So, it is... 777.6 into it is density is given as 7.2 gram per cc divided by 1000 so this works out to into 7.2 divided by 1000 this will give me 
5.598 I will take it as 5.6 kg you can take it like that it is approximately 5.6 kg that is the weight of one casting total weight of one casting now the material cost or metal cost cost of CA the metal that we are using for making that pulley is so how much is that cost material cost of cost of metal used for each pulley will be weight multiplied by weight the rate I think is given as 5 rupees per kg 5 rupees per kg yes 5 rupees per kg so weight is 5.6 multiplied by 5 rate is 5 so how many rupees it is 5 into 5.6 it is 28 rupees 28 rupees this is the cost of metal used for one pulley one pulley next melting charges melting charges melting charges are 20% of metal cost that is 0.2 into 28 28 into 0.2 that is 5 rupees 60 paisa 5 rupees 60 paisa then molding charges molding charges that is per mold how much molding charges no pattern charge will not come here now each worker prepares 20 molds and uh, per day and the daily wage is 16 rupees so 16 divided by 20 this is the cost or uh, molding charge per mold so that will be 16 by 20 16 divided by 20 will be 0 0.8 rupees 0 0.80 80 paisa per month then uh, wages machining we did now overheads overheads are how much 25 percent of 25% of material metal cost metal cost that is 0 0.25 into 28 so that's, that works out to 7 rupees 7 rupees so the total cost of one pulley the cost of making one pulley So the total cost of ah, therefore, total cost of each pulley right, each pulley will be material cost 28 rupees 00, zero paise plus melting charge that is 5 rupees 60 paise plus molding charge 80 plus other overheads 7 rupees if we add the all these how much are we going to get 28 plus 5.60 plus uh, 28 plus 5.60 plus 0 0.80 plus 7 rupees it works out to 
41 rupees 40 paise this is the total cost of one pulley making one pulley so cost of 2000 pulleys this is what is asked will be equal to will be equal to a uh, cost of one pulley that is 41.4 into 2000 number of pulleys so 41.4 into 2000 equals rupees 82000 rupees 82000 800 this is the total cost of 2000 pulleys now if you want to make a profit you will have to find out what percentage if it is given that should be added and you must write what is at what price we are going to sell this that can be also done if it is given but what is given what is asked is only this much so this is this will give us the total cost of the 2000 pulleys i hope you have understood it it was given by even one one student requested me i have done it and put it on the this thing so that everybody gets benefited thank you